హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ మై సెల్ఫ్ రాజేష్ వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఇన్ ద డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ సిఎస్సి అట్ విజ్ఞాన్స్ నిర్మల ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ అండ్ సైన్స్ ఫర్ ఉమెన్ ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ వీ విల్ హ్యావ్ ఎ డిస్కషన్ రిగార్డింగ్ వెబ్ టెక్నాలజీస్ యూనిట్ టూ సో ఇన్ దిస్ యూనిట్ వీ విల్ హ్యావ్ డిస్కషన్ రిగార్డింగ్ ద జావా స్క్రిప్ట్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ జావా స్క్రిప్ట్ వాట్ ఆర్ ద కంటెంట్స్ టు బి ఫాలోడ్ ఇన్ దిస్ యూనిట్ బేసికల్లీ Uh, the first content uh, you have to learn about the uh, basics of javascript and uh, the first one is objects and then about the uh, primitive operations and expressions and then screen output and uh, keyboard input and control statements object creation and modification arrays functions constructors pattern matching using regular expressions and in the, uh, the next uh, chapter is about uh, dhtml in this dhtml positioning moving changing and uh, elements so these are the topics to be discussed in this unit 2 and what are the objectives so the objectives to be discussed here are uh, the first objective is uh, learn about usage of javascript in html and uh, the second objective is creation and uh, modification of objects in html and the third object is differences between html and dhtml and coming to the fourth objective positioning moving and changing elements in dhtml understood so coming to the first topic the first topic is the basics of javascript so uh, first we will we, we have to know who is the developer of javascript javascript was developed by Brendan Eich who is a member of Netscape in 1995 initially the name was live script later sun microsystems joined uh, with netscape and started developing the live script later the name was changed to javascript the javascript is a scripting language which is commonly used in web development understand so uh javascript consisting of uh, three parts core side client side and server side at uh, the core consisting of uh, operators expressions statements and sub programs whereas coming to the client side the client side is a collection of objects uh, which the uh, where there is a user browser uh, interaction is uh, possible it means uh, one can interact uh, with the web browser whereas coming to the server side see in this uh, server side is also a collection of objects where the user can access the database on the server understood so next how to develop a javascript uh, and be- before that uh, what are the uses of javascript so the java uh, the first use is uh, javascript can be used as an alternative to the java applets uh you as you know that uh, applets uh, you need to separately download them but uh, if you embed the javascript in a html no need to separately download them so this javascript can be uh, used as an alternative to the java applets and see if you observe the second one is a javascript can get embedded in uh, xhtml and see the third one is a javascript can be effectively used with, with interaction with the users so because uh, it consisting of uh, forms uh, such as uh, buttons uh, menus uh, like anything it is having where it is providing the user interaction and uh, this uh, javascript can be used to create the cookies and uh, javascript is used to validate the data on a web page before it's get submitted to the web server it is used to validate the data before it is uh, submitted to the server and the javascript can be used to detect visitors web browser it is used to detect the visitors web browser and it can load the page according to the users web browser so now uh, we will discuss about uh, how to develop a javascript so we can embed the javascript either indirectly or directly if we want to embed the javascript indirectly in your web document it means the javascript has to written in a separate file and you have to uh, save the separate file with a specific name which is having the extension .js 
so here we have used the name my page my page dot js so uh, see uh, that is uh, where we embed the xhtml directly uh, by using the tag script type is equals to text or javascript script type is equals to text or javascript and write the necessary statements whatever you want and close the script so this is uh, this is embedding the javascript directly whereas coming to coming to embedding the javascript indirectly so uh, here uh, additionally you you have you must use a attribute like uh, src uh, where uh, here uh, the, the previously mentioned name my page dot js is uh, taken as a reference so th this is the embedding uh, javascript uh, indirectly so now you have to know what are the advantages of using the javascript uh, what are what are the advantages of embedding the javascript uh, indirectly and what are the disadvantages so coming to the advantages so the script can be hidden from the browser the script can be hidden from the browser user that is the first advantage and the second advantage is the layout and presentation of a document can be separated it can be separated out from the user interaction through the javascript these are the two advantages whereas coming to the disadvantages is uh, so the see if you observe the first disadvantage if you want to write a single statement in your javascript writing a separate file is uh, meaningless if a small amount of a javascript has to be embedded uh, in xhtml document so making a separate file is meaningless so the another disadvantage is if the javascript code has to be embedded uh, at several places in xhtml document uh, then it is complicated to make the code it from the html document understood so now we will have a discussion regarding uh, identifiers as you know that identifier refers to the name of a variable or array or a function whatever it may be so the identifiers or the names given to the variables and these variables holds the value you know about that one and what are the issues generally that you need to for use uh, generally raised at the time of using the identifiers so coming to the first issue here uh, so identifiers must begin with a, either a letter or underscore or a dollar sign uh, it is then followed by any number of letters or underscore or dollars or sign, digits that is the first issue so coming to the another issue so there is no limit on the length of a identifier here in this javascript and see the third one the letters in identifiers or case sensitive so it means that javascript is case sensitive that is so here example where the letter i mean where the word index which is written in a capital case and which is written in a lower case or distinct then uh, you have to know uh, the programmer defined variable names must not have the upper case letters so as a programmer if you are defining the variable names then they should not have a upper case understood so then uh, we will have a discussion regarding reserved words as you know that all the keywords are having the fixed meaning and the meaning cannot be changed understood so that is a reserved word so then uh, various reserved words are available even in this javascript also like the c or c++ or java so uh, like uh, what are the reserved keywords that you have to use means like the previously used languages like uh, uh, auto break case char constant do double else enum like that all the whatever the keywords that you used previously the same keywords you have to use additionally uh, suppose uh, var keyword is used here understood so then uh, how to write the comments so whatever the way that you used previously either in a c or a c++ or java or even in this uh, html also all those three ways are allowed in this javascript suppose for writing a single line of a comment uh, you have uh, that uh, line of a statement is the preceded by two slashes whereas if you wanted to write a multi line comment 
that uh, multi line comment is uh, preceded by slash star and followed by star slash and the way that uh, you used to define a comment even in this html see the last one that is also allowed in this uh, javascript understood so now uh, what about uh, semicolon the usage of a semicolon see if you observe here uh, as you know that uh, in the previously used programming languages like c or c++ or java every statement must be terminated by a semicolon in the same way here also uh, while writing the javascript the web programmer must give the semicolon at the end of a statement understand so now uh, how to write the first javascript see uh, as i told you that uh, there are two ways of embedding the javascript either directly or indirectly here i have embedded the javascript directly in my body by using the script type is equals to text or javascript understood so uh, see in that script type is equals to type uh, text or javascript we have first initially we have used a comment a single line of comment we have used that is uh, this is the first javascript and thereafter to print or uh, uh, my user defined statement that is uh, like a welcome to first javascript i have used a property that is a document dot write actually it is a output property screen output so do in that document dot write uh, i have written my user defined statement inside the double quotes and see at the end of that document dot write it is terminated with a semicolon so after that i have closed the script and then closed the uh, body and then closed the html so if you observe here where in which section we have added our javascript means inside the body section inside the body section so how we will get the output for this web document means see in this way you will get the output understood so uh, that is uh, how to write a first javascript